Safety is an important concern when working with the electrical systems of hybrid vehicles, particularly when removing and installing hybrid vehicle batteries. Because of the high voltage that batteries generate, removing and installing hybrid batteries is an inherently dangerous activity and can lead to serious or even fatal injuries. Suitable training is essential before removing, installing, or servicing this product, which should only be attempted by a qualified technician. Please attentively watch this video and read the technical specification sheets, warnings, instructions, and safety measures that accompany the product. Using the proper techniques and safety measures for removing, installing, or servicing hybrid vehicle batteries are your sole responsibility. Personally assume all risks and responsibilities for any damage, injury, or death that result from your misuse of our products or from your failure to use the proper safety equipment or take the proper safety measures. If you are not a qualified technician, do not attempt to remove, install, or service hybrid vehicle batteries. Required tools, deep sockets, 8mm, 10mm, 12mm, and 14mm. Trim removal tool, ratchet or impact wrench with 6-inch extension, CAT3 1000 volt rated voltmeter and leads. High voltage gloves with leather protectors, class 0 1000 volt rated. Caution. When working with high-voltage hybrid vehicle systems, always wear insulating gloves until instructed to remove them. To uninstall battery and install replacement battery, drive vehicle into the service bay, leaving ample room to open both rear doors and the rear hatch. Power vehicle off, making sure speedometer display goes dark. Slide both front seats to forward-most positions. Open both rear doors and rear hatch. Remove rear cargo mat, cover, and tray, as well as side covers that hide 12 volt battery and storage pocket. Pull up on plastic cover that hides the rear hatch hinge and remove from vehicle. Using a 10 millimeter socket and extension, remove three bolts securing each side panel. Put on high voltage gloves. Remove orange high voltage battery safety disconnect located to the left front of the rear storage area. Safety disconnect is removed by sliding handle vertically and then pulling out and downward on the handle. High voltage gloves can now be removed until needed later in the installation. Disconnect ground terminal from 12 volt battery located in the right rear of the storage compartment. Using a 10 millimeter socket, remove two bolts holding cargo ties to carpeted tray above HV battery. Disengage seat belt shoulder harness from rear seat back guides on top of seat backs. Fold down both rear seat backs. Using trim tool, locate and remove two push-in clips securing right and left sides of carpeting to battery pack. Pull up on carpet covering hinge area of seats and slide battery cover toward rear of vehicle to disengage clips holding cover to battery top. Using 14 millimeter socket, remove bolts securing seat backs to hinges. Flip both seat backs forward into floor in front of seat bottom. Using a 12 millimeter socket and extension, remove bolt from each seat side panel located at the bottom edge of the panels behind seat bottom. After removing bolts, slide panel straight up to disengage retainer and remove from vehicle. Using trim tool, disengage clips on both side panels behind carpeted area near hatch opening. Pull right side panel towards center of vehicle and remove. Pull left side panel towards center of vehicle while disconnecting wiring to rear cargo lamp and remove. Using 10 millimeter socket and trim tool, Remove cooling ductwork from right side of battery pack. Diagnosis procedure. 
At this time during the installation, we recommend you check your fan and ductwork. This may also help avoid trouble codes such as P0A80, P0A7F, which can be caused by dust or debris buildup on the HV battery fan. If your vehicle is used six days a week, driven in excess of 10 hours a day, or rear seat is used frequently, the rear fan assembly will need to be serviced every 20 to 25,000 miles, or when high voltage battery is replaced. The fan will need to be removed, cleaned, and ductwork inspected. Verify that the fan is functioning and nothing is blocking the air intake to the system. The air intake to the fan is something overlooked due to its resemblance of a small speaker. It is commonly blocked from such items as a small jacket, an umbrella or grocery bag due to the location on the rear package shelf, armrest or floor below seat, thus blocking airflow. Be sure these intake vents are clear by cleaning them with compressed air if dirty. Next, we recommend checking the cooling fans and ducts, which must be clear of pet hair, dust, and debris. The ductwork must be attached to the battery and attached correctly. There should not be gaps or missing ductwork. A clean cooling fan is much more efficient and will help prevent premature battery failures due to overheating. The cooling fans can many times be cleaned with compressed air to remove all the excess dirt and or debris. Most diagnostic scan tools can be used to test the fan for proper operation. To access this, go into the function menu, the active test, driving the battery cooling fan, and turn the fan on and off, or in some cases, choose the different speeds of the fan. Making sure that all ductwork connecting the fan are snapped in place and there are no holes or gaps. Those gaps can lead to air being leaked out, which will cause the battery to overheat and set a DTC before continuing on with your installation. Using 12mm socket, remove bolts securing bracing to battery and side panels as well as 5 bolts securing battery to floor of vehicle. Remove battery vent hose from right side of battery pack. Put on high voltage gloves. Using 10 mm socket, remove three bolts and two nuts securing electronics cover to left side of battery pack. Carefully remove cover pulling straight upward, being careful not to distort cover. Remove cable shield wire connector and retain for use with new battery. Using a CAT3 rated voltmeter, check for voltage across two terminals that the orange cables are connected to. If voltage at this point is below 30 volts, it is safe to remove your gloves until reinstalling the new battery. Using an 8mm socket, remove and retain two nuts securing cables to battery. Lift cables from battery pack and hook behind to left seat hinge to prevent damage while removing battery. Remove small wiring connectors from left rear of battery pack and disengage clip securing harness to lower corner of the battery case. Reinstall electronics cover on old battery pack. Two people are required to safely lift battery pack from vehicle. Wearing mechanics gloves due to sharp edges on the battery pack, Lift up and towards the rear of the vehicle and remove battery through the rear hatch opening of the vehicle. Reverse process to reinstall, paying close attention to the following. When reinstalling the high voltage safety disconnect at the end of the installation procedure, make sure you push the device in while flipping the handle up. Once handle is all the way up, Push straight down on the handle, which should travel about a half inch downward, to engage a safety switch and lock the handle in place. Once installation is complete, please use the following procedures when packing the original battery core for return shipment and credit. Battery core must be intact and returned in the shipping container provided with replacement battery. Core must be the same part type and application as the purchased replacement unit. Do not write on the shipping container. Contact place of purchase for core credit and shipping instructions. Live technical support is available www.dormanproducts.com or 866-933-2911.
This video is for general information purposes only. Dorman Products Incorporated makes no representations or warranties, oral or written, express or implied, regarding the information contained in this video. You are responsible for consulting and complying with all state and federal laws. Please consult with an ASE certified automotive professional before any automotive repairs. The entire risk as to the results and the performance of the information contained in this video is assumed by the viewer. In no event shall Dorman Products Incorporated be liable for any consequential, incidental, special or direct damages suffered in the course of using the information in this video.